Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. Gonna read through the first half of the article. It is pretty short. There's a link in the description. I might go on a bit of a tangent. We'll see. It is a tragedy. On Friday evening at around 8.50 p.m., a 43-year-old man was riding a southbound L train subway in New York City. Uh, this happened near the Atlantic Avenue subway station in Brooklyn, close to the Barclays Center. The gentleman in question, 43-year-old Tommy Bailey, was involved in a dispute of some sort with an un unidentified man. We don't know the nature of the dispute, but seemingly there was a dispute, and the unidentified man took it upon themselves to stab Tommy Bailey in the neck. Tommy was rushed to hospital, Brookdale Hospital, but he later succumbed to his injuries. The scumbag stabber murderer fled the scene, completely unidentified. That's all the information that we have. The article, the police, have not provided any description whatsoever of the suspect, of the man that stabbed Tommy Bailey in the neck and took his life. We don't know who this stabber was. We don't know what they look like. We don't know if they were black, if they were white, if they were Asian, if they were of Middle Eastern appearance. We don't know their race. I don't know why we've not been told that. We don't know how tall they are, if they're tall, short, medium. We don't know their build, skinny, fat, whatever it happens to be. We don't know what clothes they were wearing. We don't know anything. Why is that? This happened on a subway train. Again, uh, the southbound L train. Um, you know, on in New York City. Come on. New York City's a pretty established city. I'm being a little bit facetious here. It's world renowned that you have a subway system. Why haven't you got CCTV? Closed circuit television security cameras, 1080p, high definition, possibly even 4K. Why don't you have that everywhere on your public transport systems? Why don't you have that within the carriages, each and every one of them, multiple cameras pointing at multiple angles, along with microphones? Why don't you have that? Why don't you have multiple cameras at your subway stations and, you know, outside of the subway stations so that you're able to monitor comings and goings? Why is it that a tragic incident which happened two days ago at approximately 8.50 p.m. Friday evening in New York City, the murder of a man, why? Well, because of some dispute. Seemingly, this unidentified man can't control themselves, has to resort to extreme violence, has to stab someone in the neck. I might be jumping to conclusions. Apologies for suggesting this, but we don't know the ins and outs. Perhaps, for all we know, Tommy Bailey was the aggressor. Again, apologies for suggesting such. I'm just spitballing, as it were. We don't know the full details, but we ought to be able to find them out. We ought to be able to track this unidentified man. And one way to do that would be to publish images of that man. You know, to be able to identify uh, what time they, what station they got on, what station they got off of. You know, be able to track these people. So I, I sense that what I'm saying to a degree is controversial. I'm very much pro, from I guess from a relatively ignorant point of view, I'm pro security cameras, I'm pro CCTV. I'm not a criminal, I never have been. Who knows what the future holds, but it's it's fairly unlikely that I'll become a criminal. And with that, I don't really need to fear being on camera in in a public space i just don't need to fear it you know i don't have complete faith in authorities and the government the governments of the world far from it but i don't think they're going to be misusing that data in a way that would affect me 
it's extremely unlikely is my thought you know a lot of people disagree with that uh, a lot of people fear feel that uh, CCTV security camera footage and forthcoming advancements on such technologies such as facial recognition uh, bio um, bio I can't think of the right words but you know uh, having little microchips inserted into us so that we're able to be tracked biologically through biosensors and such who knows what the future and indeed the present will hold does hold uh, but I'm largely not fearful of it because I don't think I'm going to suffer from it in all likelihood uh, and I don't feel my loved ones will either I feel that there is way too much crime out there across the world especially seemingly in these large cities across the world and I th think that CCTV security camera can go an extremely long way in uh, resulting in the prosecution of criminals. You know, that's my feeling. But again, you know, I'm coming from a point of view of, of relative ignorance. I've not studied this. I've not read any studies on the topic. That's my gut feeling. And some of you definitely will disagree. But I am shocked and disgusted about this incident here, whereby we're reading an article of a murder that occurred on a public transport system, the New York City subway train, southbound L train, Friday, 8.50 p.m. And we don't have any images to look at. How are we supposed to help track down the person? Obviously, you know, I wasn't in a position to do that myself, but people of New York... If they were shown pictures, somebody's going to be able to come forward and say, oh yeah, I know who that is. Oh yeah, I know where they live. Yeah? But without those images, then what's going to happen? Are they just going to get away with it? So, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is CCTV footage, security camera footage. It's just not being released. In which case, why the heck not? But uh, anyway, I, I did suggest that I might go on a tangent. I think I've done that. So I'll wrap things up at this point. Of course, full condolences to the family of the victim, Tommy Bailey. We don't know too much about him. Perhaps he's a father. Perhaps he's a husband or has a partner. You know, his family, his friends, his co-workers, his neighbors are going to be devastated by this. And rightfully so. I'm going to wrap things up here, guys. Take care.